My name is Luke 44 and welcome back to some more Spyro 2 Prototype. So, um, as you saw from my reaction and the last part, there is something up there that seems rather interesting to look at. Now, I did have a brief look from screenshots of this level, and I would say the Autumn Plains, well at least the home world of Autumn Plains, is probably the first kind of big difference in terms of the level layout in the entire game so far. Um, so, for example, as you can see over here, the Breeze Portal is, like, kind of awkwardly placed here, uh, I would like to say. It doesn't really... I feel like it's not quite suited there as it would have been down here where it would normally would be. Uh, and also, from a speedrunner's purpose, I can't do the whole, you know... Actually, what well, can I? Hold on, can you jump on this? Ooh. 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 Maybe you could, if you do it right, maybe. But anyway, yeah, it's a uh, place doing instead. So you got a big first big difference right there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my days! But I said, look at that. It doesn't, like I said, it doesn't really look right. What about you? Mm, nah, I'm glad they put it over here in the end. Just in general, really. not even from a speedrunner's perspective, it looks better there, in my opinion. So I'm glad they changed that to after this preview came out. Um, oh yes, the other difference, of course. Yes, uh, we'll get round to that. Let me just grab this five gem here. It is this, this. Which apparently is a, a vortex that takes you back to Summer Forest. It kind of looks like the Spa 1's vortex, but it's obviously been retextured, recolored in that. Because it looks like the design of it looks to suggest it's the Spa 1's uh, vortex, you know, portal thing. So maybe it is. Bobby says, as I said, it's differently uh, colored. So I guess if we go in it, what happens? Oh, it's just nothing. No animation, just plain old loading, going to Summer Forest. And then here we are. And we're back here in Summer Forest. Oh yeah, I forgot the skybox is the same as... Uh, is it the same as Idle Springs? Anyway. Oh, here it is. It's right here. It's not. Is it not over where it normally would be? Let me have a brief uh, look. No, it's not. I guess that's the only one there is then. There might be one by a Crush, but... Uh, I'm not going to go all the way there and find out it isn't, so let's just go back and enter the portal that way. Or the vortex, should I say. In we go. Straight back. So there you go. We actually have differences. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -mm. I don't know if there's going to be any more you know, exciting differences like this one um, in the future levels, but only time will tell. Hopefully there will be. Because there are some levels that uh, I actually don't know at all if there's a difference or not. Like, it's completely blind for me. Uh, but anyway, in the meantime... Let's get a thing from Autumn Plains, shall we? Um, again, we should be able to. There's no backtracking that's required for this level. We should be able to go up there where Laura is to access the... Uh, well, it gets like, what, three, four gems or whatever it is. I suppose we've got enough gems as well. We can be able to pay all the money bags' as, um, stuff. Turn to the levels and all that good stuff. So... Yep, get rid of that. Cool. There's your bloody money, you little bear. At least in ten way to piss off this time, like it does in future games. How about future games, the very next one. Yeah, that's nothing new, of course. So there should be like, yeah, two gems up here, I think. Yeah, that's it. All that effort for two bloody gems. Now, because we can't do ground to portal in this uh, prototype, since the portal for Breeze Harvest has been moved, um, we have to do it the old-fashioned way, which is doing this. Or basically, in other words, how we're supposed to do it in terms of, like, accessing the orb. Now, apparently, I heard it's actually an extra orb. Oh, there's only 110 gem here. Huh. Well, well that will tell you that all the gem layouts is different, definitely. Uh, so, apparently, yeah, if we go into the guidebook... Um... Oh, there's only two orbs. I swear, I thought there was a hidden orb. Well, anyway, apparently there's a hidden orb in this, um... In this level, which I'm gonna try and find. I can't remember. I think I know. I remember roughly where it is, but uh, if not, I have to like go off uh, video until I find it. Like I don't know if that orb was intentionally supposed to be there. I don't think it's always supposed to be there either. Or um, yeah, they forgot to remove it. Makes you wonder actually in terms of how it will look then in the older prototypes. Well, well. Right. So we talked to this bastard. Mm. We can climb now, woo. I could do the climbing skip, but uh, bleh. We got enough gems. I'm sure I'll be nice enough to give in some gems and be on my merry way. 
Oh, this is the next difference. Um, well, kind of. Not exactly, but kind of. Uh, what I mean by that is, of course... Uh, oh, a free life there. So, we have Scorch here. And you notice that it's a bit more... How can I describe it? A bit more pushed back? So, where I'm standing right now, the portal would be here. But it's been pushed back uh, just slightly there. Now, I don't know about you, but I actually like it like this. I prefer it like this uh, than it is in the final game. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it how it looks in the final game. But I feel between the two layouts, this layout, I would agree, is better. But obviously, Breeze Harbor, not so much. Um, now, you notice how the sand, or the skybox at least, in the sand area is like all brown. But in the final version, it's yellow. Um, in the final version, well, at least with the NTSC version, it actually does stay that color. But when you enter the level, it actually turns to yellow. Uh, but obviously, in this version, a bit of a spoilers, but um, in this version, it actually stays brown. So, uh, there you go. Another difference to report. Yay. Thank you. Uh, is that different? No. I thought for a brief moment that it looked like some kind of blue in the skybox for Magma Cone, but it doesn't look like it. Seems it still is the same. Right, there's more money bags to pay. It's like there's so many money bags in this bloody um, home world. I mean, you thought he was a bit of a greedy kid in Spiral 3, but in this world, holy shit, you have to pay him like... How, this is the third time I paid him now, so it's like four different money bags in total you have to pay to... Uh, is that skybox different? Might be. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm probably wrong, but I feel it is. But we'll come across that when uh, we uh, get to it later on in the LP. And uh, Oh, that's different. That's very different. I don't recall this being here. So there's like different platforms you have to access to get to the gems. So yeah, I think it's definitely safe to say that Autumn Plains, the home world at least, it's definitely the first big level in terms of layout differences and, you know, gems layouts and all that. We got there in the end, as I said. Summer Froze is a bit so-so. You know, the Allura dialogue kind of helped us through all that. But uh, this one, definitely. Ooh. Okay, so down here. Yes, there is no uh, Vortex to get back to the Summer Froze. So it's a good thing I didn't go to Crush before. Now, this is a very significant thing. There is no crack wall in this version. So, normally there's a crack wall you're supposed to smash through to access, well, over there, basically. But, uh, interestingly, um, there is none in this one. Now, I say it's significant because uh, in a speedrun, you tend to want to essentially clip through the, the crack wall to basically put yourself out of bounds to get into go. So... I could be completely wrong, but in this version, it would appear then, with the crack wall not being here, the gulp skip could very well be impossible to get into. And if that's the truth, I might be wrong, but if that's true, I'll say again that clearly this prototype is less broken than the final version. 80% could still only have been like, um, what, the low 20 minute mark rather than 7 minutes it is now as of this recording? God damn it, Somniac. So this is a bit different. Uh, definitely. I'm pretty sure all this was like, all this air was all flat. But obviously you have to jump up here now to get to these gems. So that's another difference right there. And, um... Oh, is this here? So as you notice, there's a crack wall here instead. Which, if I remember correctly, this is where the hidden orb, so to speak, should be. And there it is! There's another orb! Nice! And in a way, from the looks of it, we have to use the hit. We have to go for that crack wall anyway and access up here to get to the roof. No, look at that. Wow. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. What a difference that is. Woohoo! Right, so now we'll get the intentional third orb now, which is over here. And then I think that's all in planes more or less done, I, I think. Wow, what a crazy. I mean, what does that do to that guidebook? Does it show the hidden orb? Bottom of the tower? Well, I guess in yes? There we go, that's three orbs. And the thing is, you're supposed to, like, get that orb anyway, because you have to access the whirlwind, access the other orb, essentially. So, it is actually intended. When they originally made this, it just doesn't appear in the guidebook. So, strange. Strange, strange, strange. I don't... I'm guessing at this point in the prototype, they were debated about switching the entire layout for Autumn Planes and removing that orb or something. I, I don't know. 
it's very confusing, but I really don't know um, what caused them to change their minds. So we're missing 10 gems. Uh, I don't know where the 10 gems are. We can't use Spox to help us out, unfortunately, so we'll just have to keep exploring until we find it. Which kind of works for me, I guess, because I can keep talking about stuff. <laughs> but interestingly, the 10 gems we're missing are the 10 gems that are supposed to be here. Over here, where the uh, other 10 gem would be, next to the uh, orb. But obviously it's not here. So I'm inclined to believe it just doesn't exist. I mean, as I said, I'll, I'll explore the entire area, but if I don't find it, I'm just going to assume that it's somewhere hidden as well, or I um, it doesn't exist. I mean, this is a prototype, so it wouldn't be too, you know, unsurprising if you can't get everything. Because we have seen from other ones, like Spiral 1, for example, that, like, you could play through the full game, but, like, you can't collect everything. And as a result, um, you can't, well, have the 100% ending. And I get the feeling it's the same case here. Although, um, as I said, I'm going to have a look just to be sure. I wonder if... <gasps> there it is! You cheeky bugger! There we go! That's a very odd place to put that. I'm guessing the intended way you climb up there and then you just glide down to get that 10 gem. But obviously they thought, nah, we'll put it with that other gem up there instead. Right, so let's. Le which level should we do first then? Which level should we do first? Now, from the order I tend to do it for my own casual walkthroughs in my spare time, I tend to pick this level first. So we'll do... Um, We'll do Crystal Glacier first, and then Skilo's Badlands. That's going to be the plan, yeah. So yeah, next time we'll enter it's Crystal Glacier. I'll see you guys next time with some more Spiral 2 prototype. Bye-byes, and hopefully we'll have more differences in this level too. Fingers crossed.